I have the hiccups, so let's not mind that. Hey guys, it's Grace. Um, today I have a pretty serious video. Um, I have talked a little bit about um, psychiatric service dogs and what they do, but I haven't really gotten in depth with my story. So this might show you how disabling mental illnesses can be. So it is October, October 26th, um, and this is a pretty big month for me. About a year ago, life got really hard. So let's just start from the beginning. It was October 1st. Um, I got asked out by a boy. And he was a great person. Still is amazing. I don't blame any of my problems on him. I blame the fact that... Sorry, I was in middle school. I still am. Um, I blame the fact that I was not ready. This was something new. Um, and ultimately my first ever middle school real relationship. So it was something to get used to. He was a great person. He just didn't understand. We had a few things in common, but he just didn't get it. Of course he cared about me, but he didn't know how to care for this side of me. Shortly after my depression went really low. I was diagnosed with depression at nine. I've had anxiety since I was probably four. PTSD from being around a lot of toxic people. And for whatever reason, these couple of months just decided to beat me. I was just going to a new school. Everything was new. Um, my first time ever going to a public school and I got out of a pretty risky school for me because I just wasn't used to it. Um, it was very state. It was very perfect and um, just not real. And I just couldn't have it. When I started dating this boy, I got really upset. Um, it was kind of in my brain for the longest moment to not get rejected, to um, be what other people want me to be and not really be myself. I grew up to make other people happy, but not in a good way. I constantly tried to figure out ways to m make sure that he would not get upset with me and to make sure that he was good for me. Around... God. October 17th was probably when I started harming myself again. I tried in sixth grade. Everyone told me not to, but for whatever reason, I didn't listen. Every single night, I would come home and plan to cry or harm myself in any way and then just not tell anybody. Every single night I had an ongoing panic attack and I would constantly cry until I could, couldn't cry anymore. I then thought the only thing I could do was die. I can't tell you how many times I attempted, um, cause there was multiple times and some of them, so many that I forgot. But one day, November, s 
7th was I called it death day November 7th was when I officially tried to check out the day after kids found out about it I was sent to the counselor and they had to call my mom they gave her the option to take me to a hospital and then just go from there I was sent to the children's hospital and they thought it'd be best if I went to a psychiatric hospital. I spent, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days there. Worst week of my life. Definitely wasn't the place for me. I have really nothing to say about the hospital, except for the fact that it just wasn't my place. Some people genuinely need it, but it just made me worse. But what it did do is get me on the right track. Um, it showed me how it could have been. You know, it showed me the worst. And it got me back on track. It gave me a place to get away from the world that was literally killing me. I then waited a whole month to break up with the relationship that I was in. Um... I did it because I had to focus on myself. That whole month, or two months, I had not focused on myself. So how was I expected to make him happy? This is just a small part of my life. And um, this is a part of a bullet journal that I attempted to do and this is the only part of my I guess moments that I had in that time period to really show I guess my reason for this video is there's a lot of people out there struggling. I have decided to make my struggles and help other people with them. People have told me that I'm not doing anything. People have told me that I don't understand, but I've been in the same place. I know what it's like to feel like no one understands. I know what it's like to constantly feel alone. Because that's what I did for a long, long time. I'm still on my road to recovery and I had to pound into my head to make sure that it is a process. Because that's what it is. It's not going to be happy overnight when chemicals are dropped that low. Because it's a chemical imbalance. When your happy chemicals are dropped that low, they're not just going to skyrocket like the next day. It's constantly a process. And it's one that I suggest you just continue with. Life has so many more beautiful things. If you don't think anyone cares about you, I care. But think about it. What would you miss? November 7th, 1236 p.m. Don't know what to say about that, but that was my horrible moments. At 1240, was probably when I decided to do it. And then 12.50 was when I realized, wow, look outside. It was the most beautiful day that you could ever ask for. There's ladybugs everywhere. There's ladybugs in my room. I went, I passed out right after I, I tried to do it and I woke up with ladybugs everywhere. They saved me. You know, I will constantly encourage you to just look outside. See what's out there. You know, the world might seem so messed up. But if you think it's that messed up, then do something. Because trust me, you're capable. And if you're really, really struggling and you really want to cry for help, please get someone. Please tell someone to tell your parents 
or to tell somebody, your guardian, anybody, so that they can get you help, to give you a second chance, because your story is not over yet. I'm an iceberg There's so much more that your eyes can't see Two girls walk into a party The one who gets noticed isn't me I'm holding on But barely a plate by teenage popularity It's a terrible feeling Being the ghost on the wall That's always disappearing Cause I wanna be somebody to someone But it all is starting to blur like a dream And smash the tiara No, that's not me I'll never be prom queen I'm a wanderer I weave my way By dancing in hopes that the cool kids Will ask me to stay I'm invisible to bright lights Just standing on the sidelines Waiting for a standing ovation That I know just isn't mine Cause I wanna be somebody to someone But it all is starting to flood the tiara No, that's not me I'll never be prom queen No, that's not me I'll never be prom queen